When you enter Canvas, this is what you'll see. Your main page is a stream of recent activity for all your courses. This includes recent discussion comments, assignment alerts, notifications, anything that's been happening recently. Along the right side is a to-do list and coming up list that helps you stay on track of your work. You can enter an individual course to see a stream of activity just from that course. One of the best ways to get an overview of a course in Canvas is modules. When you click on modules, you'll see these containers that contain all the items for a weekly lesson. This might include readings, might include content such as a video presentation, discussions, assignments, quizzes, and so forth. This also shows the sequence or outline of online lessons that we're trying to use here at Calvin Theological Seminary. Engage, explore, apply, review. Engage is the initial encounter with concepts or an author. Explore is a deeper exploration. Apply is a connection to a real life situation in ministry, preaching, pastoral care. And review is both a review of key concepts and more open-ended reflection exercises before moving on. Let's look at the discussion interface. And here you'll see the main discussion question students who have responded to that question, and an area for students to respond to each other. It's similar to the Facebook wall, and we think it does a good job of showing the conversation flow. Canvas gives you a lot of options for ways to submit assignments. Here you see all of them. You can upload a Word doc or another file from your computer. You can type your assignment directly into this box. You can give the URL of a blog post or another website. You can import a Google Doc, and you can even record or upload an audio or video recording. You just hit Submit, and it shows that your assignment has been submitted. Canvas also gives you a calendar that shows all your upcoming assignments in all your courses, color-coded, and you can export that calendar feed into your Google Calendar or smartphone so that you can stay on top of deadlines. So that's just a quick look at the Canvas interface. I hope you like what you see and will want to know more, especially about how we're using Canvas here at Kelvin Seminary.